Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to calculate integrals numerically in MATLAB. There are other methods to calculate integrals, but today we're going to learn a method that's called trapezoidal rule, which assumes trapeziums under the curve. To calculate integrals, we will use those commands in MATLAB. In this video, we're not going to go in details with the theory, but we're going to see how to calculate or with an example. So let's get with an example. So first, let's say um, we need to integrate sine of t in the range of 0 to pi. Now, in an analytical sense, if we want to calculate sine of integral of sine of t, that will be negative cosine of t plus an initial condition. So if we assume that initial condition to be 0 and we set the limit from 0 to pi, we can calculate that to something like this, where the lower limit is 0, upper limit is pi, and then negative cosine t, it becomes this one, and then we can calculate that to 2. So analytically, the value becomes 2. Now, we're going to see numerically if we can calculate that in MATLAB. We will also see how to generate this integration over the whole range of 0 to pi in MATLAB. So let's go to MATLAB and see how to do this. I have opened MATLAB script and saved it. Now we will see how to calculate the integral example that we have seen in MATLAB. So let's define a time vector t that will be used for the time in the x-axis. Now we can use the lint space command to linearly spaced vector and we can generate let's say 100 points which is from 0 to pi so lint space the first value is the minimum the second value is the maximum so it generates a vector that's from 0 to pi and how many we said 100 vectors so t has 100 uh, elements in an array and that array starts from 0 and then pi now our function y, I can I can call the variable y because the function is a function, and that is sine of t. So that's our function, so we can just call it sine of t. So now our y value, our y variable, has the sine of t function. Now if we want to integrate, integrate sine of t from 0 to pi. So to integrate, we're going to use a command that's called trap z. So let's see what is the command. So type help trap z is the command. So as you can see, trapezoidal numerical integration, trap z y computes an approximation of the integral and so on. So we can we can see how to use the trap z from here. There are a few examples also. So let's use the trap z to calculate the integral here in our case. So I'll say y underscore trap z is my variable for the integral. And I'll say you can define it in the name of the variable in any, any other way. I just define it like this. The trap z the value can be y only or can be x first and then y so we will do t first so the the variable um t the variable y needs to be differentiated and with respect to t so t goes first and then goes y and there is our trapezoidal rule so if i just run it and as you can see, the value is really close to 1 because this is a numerical technique. There might be a few, uh, a little bit uncertainty or a deviation from the analytical value, but the analytical value was 2, and this shows 1.989998. So it's technically integrating the sine, sine of t from 0 to pi. So that, that is how we can calculate any uh, integral within a range. Now we will see how to see the whole range with another command called cumtraps. So 
calculate integral for the whole range with cum traps. Okay, so we will use the command cum traps. So let's see how to use that cum traps here. So if I say help cum traps, you can see that cumulative trapezoidal numerical integration. So it will calculate the new cumul cumulative trapezoidal integration. So we can use that to capture the whole range. Okay. So similarly, let's go back and calculate the cumulative. So I'll define again y underscore int, or let's say cum traps is my variable. And then here, let's say cum trap z or cum traps t comma y is my um, integration. Only thing we want, we will notice is that there was an initial condition defined before. We can assume that initial condition to be zero. If it is given other than zero, we have to define it here. So I'll define, say, let's say x zero is, let's say one, negative one. So then if we do that, then we have to define x zero before the cube traps. And that way we have also incorporated the initial condition. If there's, that's, that's not included or it's assumed to be zero, then you don't have to use it. So that's our cum traps. Now we can um, we can calculate it and see if we have the cumulative traps. Yes, you can see that why can't, if I just double click on the variable, you can see that um, it has hundred doubles. So the y cum traps has all the values for the integration for the uh, y value with respect to t. Now um, we need to see that, we need to see if that's working. So let's plot the functions. Here we will plot the function. So let's plot the, the first one. So t and y, let's plot it. So x-axis t and y-axis is just the sine of t. And then let's plot it. If I run it, you can see this is just from zero to pi, this is the sine of t. Now we can plot, we can say, hold on, because we want to freeze the plot. And let's say plot t comma y underscore cum traps. So this one, we want to plot the integration of that curve. Now, if I do that, You can see the blue one is our original y, y equals the sine of t function, and the red one starting from negative one as the initial condition is the integration of the sine of t. Now you can inc in include labels, titles, and legends here. So let's do that. So let's say label x label as time, third seconds maybe. Y label is, let's say, amplitude and title. Let's say title is integration or let's say numerical integration. Then we can say legend, uh, there are two. So the first one is, we, we plotted the first one before the hold on, was just the original function. So we can say sine t, um, like that, comma, the second one here. The second was the integration of sine t. So we can say forward slash int, this is the integration sine. And then we can say square bracket sine of t, square bracket close, close. That's my legend. So let's 
run run that one more time. Let's see how does it work. Okay, so as you can see, we have our legend here. We can move this legend by just dragging it. And we have our amplitude, our time, and our title. And the blue one is sine of t, the red one is integration of sine of t. We can also increase or decrease our um, x-axis value or range. Let's say we want to see the whole 2 pi, the whole, whole cycle of the sine function. We can do that by just changing this pi to 2 pi. And then, um, as you can see, the trap z here. The trap z calculates that, and if, as this is the whole cycle, the whole integration becomes zero. So this is a really small number. And from the graph, you can see this is sine of t, and integration of sine of t is negative uh, cosine of t, and so on. So that is how we can um, we can calculate integration numerically in MATLAB. So if there there was a data instead of using a function then we could have imported the data and did the same thing and that will integrate all the data numerically in MATLAB. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next